God, this is so awkward. How do people do this for a living? Jesus. Hi guys. So for those that don't know me, my name is Alyssa and today I'm making my very first YouTube video. So what we're going to do today is just kind of an everyday makeup look and at the same time I'm kind of just going to be talking a bit about myself. So let's get started. Yeah. What we're we'll doing first is we're going to be priming our face. So I use the I use I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer because baby, we want to blur the imperfections. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. So this is what it is. So she first dropped the um. <laughs> She first dropped a, a like a matte foundation, really nice, I liked it, but since I'm more on the dry skin, it wasn't the best foundation for me, so when she dropped this hydrating one, I was so excited. So I'm just gonna put a bit on my face, and we're just gonna blend. I try not to go too much under my eye with foundation since that's where the concealer is going to go. I don't want it to look too cakey. We're going to move on to the concealer. Use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Looking like a cute little warrior princess. So my first question that I got, so I asked on Instagram if people had any questions that I can kind of just talk, and talk about while I do this. So my first question was, what was the first Disney movie I remember watching? The first movie that popped into my head was actually The Aristocats. So I vaguely remember watching that as a kid. And funny enough, um, our last cat that we had, we actually named him Toulouse, which is one of the cat, one of the cats from that movie, which was Toulouse. Did I say that? So we named our cat Toulouse. And the thing is, I think Toulouse is actually the orange one in that movie. I don't know why we didn't Google it to make sure. Because our cat was gray. But anyway, it just suited him perfectly. She cute though. Next, we're going to set this all in with the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder, which is my favorite. I've used the Too Faced one. It was like the peach one. It smells nice, but I wasn't like a huge fan. And then... I graduated to the Laura Mercier found, um, setting powder, which is like what you saw everywhere over Instagram. When Rihanna dropped this, I was like, I'm gonna go buy this. So one of the other questions was from my clearly very modest boyfriend who was, how did I meet the best person ever? Or how did I manage to date the best person ever? I don't remember what word by word his question was. I met my boyfriend through mutual friends We've been together ever since. I think we're going on 10 months soon, I think. I'm really bad at math. Our first date was so cute. I opened the door and he had a rose in his hand and like I opened the door and I saw the rose and I was like, is this for me? Yeah, like what else would it be for? And we drove all the way downtown. We spent our first date at uh, in Art Cave, we were just playing games, having fun. He took me out to this Korean restaurant that I mentioned that I liked. And then he drove me all the way back home and he just let me play Ariana Grande the whole entire time. What more could you ask for for a first date? While this is setting, I'm going to go do my eyebrows. So I use the Goof Proof Brows Pencil from Benefit. Benefit, you can get them at Sephora, you can get them at Pharma Pre, so they're very easy. And accessible. This, you know, funny enough, so when I first started doing my makeup, I didn't really do my eyebrows because I'm like, well, they're there. Like, they're thick. They're fine. One day I went out with a bunch of my girlfriends from an old job. The waiter took this picture of us. My eyebrows were gone. They were just not there. Like, and the day after, I went to go buy myself some eyebrow makeup. They're okay. I think eyebrows are something I hate doing the most. Like, I'm still practicing and I've been doing makeup for a while now. So when I went to high school, you weren't allowed to wear makeup. When I was in CJEP and I got one of my first jobs, like I had a couple of other ones, but they didn't really last all that long. So this job, I it was like a rule that you had to wear makeup, you had to kind of do your hair, which I never did. I absolutely hate doing my hair. And I literally knew nothing about makeup. I was like, like growing up, I, I, I have three older brothers. I don't have any sisters. My mom, who she does makeup, like 
she won't leave the house without makeup on. Her rule was kind of like, all you need is some eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick, and blush. Like I got a liquid eyeliner once for my birthday or something, so I was using that. And I used the mascara and I used, I, I'm already pretty like pinkish and reddish. So I didn't see the point of blush when I was younger. I had lipsticks and that was kind of just it growing up. So I remember when I got this job, I was like, okay, like I need to buy more makeup than this. So I went to Pharma Pre because I had no idea what Sephora was. So I went to Pharma Pre and I bought all this makeup. I'm very lucky I have pretty good clear skin. I put on all this makeup and the next day just completely broke out and one of my coworkers at the time was like, well, don't go to Pharma Pre for your makeup, go to Sephora. Like they have much better quality makeup. And I was like, girl, I don't even know what Sephora is. <laughs> she introduced me to Sephora and thus came my debt. And it's been worth it. <laughs> I'm going to be doing my um, contour. So I actually use a foundation stick. So this is a Tarte's foundation clay stick in the shade Rich Honey. Girl, this has been used and abused at this point. It's very messy. As much as I do think that it obviously gives me a sharper contour, the stick got messy fast, man. Like, whoo! Ah. Now we are going to blend this out with a beauty sponge. So my next question was what my favorite song is at the moment. Girl, like, so much music came out this week, like, Halsey dropped her album, uh, Mac Miller had an album that came out, Eminem, like the single that she dropped, that You Should Be Sad. So, <laughs> my favorite song at the moment. What about you guys? What are your favorite songs at the very moment? What are you guys into? Who are you looking forward to dropping a new album this year? I know there's so many artists that I'm hoping are gonna drop some new music. I'm hoping for Lord Rihanna, obviously, if she'll ever do it. But comment below who you're looking forward to for some new music this year. I think it's going to be a really great year for music, honestly. So remember I was saying before that I never really used blush before because I already have like kind of natural rosy cheeks. But I, like once you put that foundation in, like it's kind of gone, girl. So I, I bought blush and like never going back. Never going back. So I'm using the Tarte Feisty shade like i think almost every blush that i've ever gotten it's from a sample at sephora i don't think i've ever actually bought myself a blush i'm cheap i'm broke she might be pretty I'm going to go in with the oh my god i'm dropping everything i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills glow kits and this is what this looks like so i'm going in with the shade summer on top because i'm pale i'm to go into the eyes darling it's gonna be a very soft eye look so we're gonna go in with the soft glam anastasia beverly hills i'm going in with the shade tempera so that's the girl that's been used like i kind of use this as a base sometimes like a soft look is so much harder than like a crazy glam look because it requires so much more blending like by the end your wrists have had a workout most of my brushes are from morphe i'm a really big fan of their brushes find that they're very affordable and like for the amounts that you get it's worth it i'm gonna go in with rustic we're gonna go in at the corner and just blend upwards and just blend just blend just keep blending just keep blending 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 what kind of looks do you guys prefer do you prefer a more natural soft look do you guys like colorful looks guys like a smoky eye like glam it the fuck out i'm just so impressed by everything when it comes to makeup super soft looks because they're hard like like i said like it requires so much blending to try and make everything look so natural can be really, really difficult another question i got was what are my goals honestly i'm just trying to survive i'd like to get out of debt that's probably a really big goal of mine I'm also in school right now, so I'm taking some night courses for some prerequisites that I need to do to get into the university program that I want to get into. So my goal right now is to also kind of concentrate in school, just do what I need to do to get to the end goal. <clears throat> so this is the Morphe palettes. This is the 9C. So the 9C Morphe palettes. Um, my boyfriend actually got me this. I'm just contouring my eyes right now. Okay, I think we're good for the eyes. Again, this is just a very very simple look just for some bling bling we're just gonna go with the rose quartz by the way i use the chocolate diamond kind of just at the corner 
So we're just going to do the rose quartz just at the inner corner. Give it some glam. A little glam never hurt nobody. So just at the corner. Next we're going to go with the Bad Gal Bang Benefit Mascara. I love Benefit Mascara. I think that it works so well if you're like me and you don't really wear falsies. Set this all in with the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. So... Next, we are going to go in again with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Clearly, I'm a big fan of theirs. So this is just called Kiss. So yeah, it's more on the pinkish, nudish side. Um, <clears throat> again, <coughs> oh my god, I'm like dying. <sighs> We're going to go with the Dose of Colors Jazzy, which smells so bomb. And there you kind of have it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it wasn't too awkward on camera. It's my first video. Bear with me. If there's anything you guys like to see, let me know. Subscribe. Be a fan. Make me famous. No, I'm kidding. So have a great week, you guys, depending when you're watching this. Depend when I post this. But either way, love you guys.